just took down another person that was involved in the setup of Young Dolph. So they working on getting all the other suspects that has something to do with it because they know they all got caught red handed. And now with everybody that got captured telling on each other, they're about to bring down the whole entire basically CMG starting off with Yo Gotti's uh, uh, co-worker. The fact that Govan Hernandez, he's the he's going to be the link connecting Yo Gotti to this whole entire Rico because they found out that this whole thing was over the beef. They found out who was sending the money and everything. If y'all want to get justice for Young Dolph, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know where y'all from. Put the Dolph emoji. Like this video because they're getting closer and closer to getting the justice. And a lot of people that's Dolph supporters, they know that these people were wrong for messing with Dolph. And so that's why the justice is going to be so swift. And they taking their time with it and everything. It's been three years. I've been telling y'all for a long time exactly how the cookie monsters and everybody that had a role to play in it was going to get caught and look what's happening now everything is coming to the end and now you see that justin johnson got the life sentence that should show that should go to show a message directly to yo Gotti about how serious that they're taking this matter right now the fact that you know uh, Yo Gotti agreed to pay for the lawyers for Straight Drop and all these other guys. Remember back two years ago when I was telling you about how Straight Drop got the super lawyer to represent him and everything like that. And everybody was wondering how CMG was paying for his lawyer and everything. And that if they if, if Yo Gotti did pay for his lawyer, that he might be able to beat the case. But he just got hit with the life sentence, even from having the top one of the top people. And so now Yo Gotti, he's shaking in his boots because even though he even though Yo Gotti's brother got taken out. And one thing about that is a lot of people believe and think allegedly that Yo Gotti had his own brother get taken out so that he wouldn't tell on him because Big Juke didn't want to have to go down for all of this. He didn't want to take all the blame. Since Govan Hernandez got released on the ankle monitor, they don't even know exactly what he told. He could have told on Big Juke and Big Juke was, got everything pinned on him and he was about to tell on Yo Gotti. So everything fell and Big Juke got the short end of the stick. And Yo Gotti pretty much cut ties with his own brother because he knew for a fact that the dudes out in the streets that knew about somebody had told the guys in the streets about how Big Juke was about to tell on Yo Gotti. And a lot of people think that it was also retaliation from Young Dolph getting hit up. And so either way, it was street justice and it, it shook the case because now everybody was like scrambling to find out, OK, is Yo Gotti next? Is it retaliation for Dolph or was it that that Big Juke was going to tell and that they got him out so he didn't go testify in the case in the trial? And so this was what was going on. Everybody was scrambling to figure it out. And now they finally know what's going on. The case was heating up and it didn't nobody expected Justin Johnson straight drop to get the life sentence. You thought they was doing 20, 30, 50 years and everything. But because of how Govan told and how Big Juke was cooperating and how they were pushing everything to, to basically paint the picture of how allegedly Yo Gotti could have sent the bread to straight dropping them to do the drill on Dolph. And so that's what the feds was looking at. And with all it is, you look out, it was never worth it for any of them, man. No matter whatever it was that Yo Gotti would get out of this beef or whatever the guys would get, the little money, they ended up not even getting paid and got hit with the book from the judge. So, like, they thought they was about to get 40000 or split 100000 or whatever it was. And they found out that they didn't even get $800 each. $800, they threw away everything man and they and they you know they could have had a long time to be able to get rich to be able to take care of their family and everything like that but you got to look at it man yo Gotti and them pretty much they they was like saying oh you will be a big part of cmg you're gonna be the next big artist we're gonna push you we're gonna make sure that the streets take care of you and they pay, they pretty much sold them a dream and when it came time to uh, uh, for everything when they hit the fan and the, and now they had to go to court and everything like that. Yo Gotti and them was nowhere to be found. Yo Gotti and them didn't send no support. They didn't put money on their books or nothing like that. And so this is why they decided to tell on him. The reason why they told on Yo Gotti was because Yo Gotti cut ties with all of them. And once he realized that 
the case was heating up and everything was getting close to be blamed on him once he realized that all of the people that he uh, that he thought was going to be loyal to the to, to their group and all that ended up singing and telling and, and snitching and, and and putting all the incriminated info out there they were like oh i wasn't the one that planned it yo god he told us to do this and whoop de wah and all this stuff so they told the investigators that and this is why govan was let off the hook how do you think they at first they denied him any type of bond then all of a sudden he goes into the office meeting room with them he comes out they gave him food and everything and before you know it he's going home on an ankle monitor when he was literally labeled as the mastermind of this whole thing they usually don't let that person go unless he told and gave up a bigger fish and so this is why they're looking for the big dogs in this they know yo Gotti was the person who had the main beef with young Dolph they already knew about the threats that yo Gotti was sending at Dolph they looked at the people that yo Gotti was talking to the people in the streets they made the connection they know about it and now this is why daddy yo hasn't said anything about this because a lot of people know that daddy yo was actually friends with yo Gotti before Dolph and them started doing business together and so even there's people who were saying that daddy yo and yo Gotti still got contact to this day and so everybody knows everybody in memphis it's a small air it's a small town a lot of people but everyone knows everyone and that's why people from Dolph's side connected and clicked up with people from yo Gotti's side remember straight drop was Key Glock's best friend. He was coming to the PRE music videos. He was in the back of a lot of Dolph's shoots and he was in the car standing next to them and everything like that. But then after some time and everything like that, the other side got into Justin Johnson's ear. Key Glock didn't have the influence. Maybe him and Key Glock got into it. This is why they put $50,000 on Key Glock head. Like he knows that something happened between him and Straight Drop that made Straight Drop go run to Yo Gotti. And the fact that the cookie shop people was the only ones that knew about Dolph whereabouts of being at the cookie shop. They dropped his location as, as what a lot of people are saying is what they thinking. And allegedly the, the cookie shop Makitas and everything like that, like Dolph had told them beforehand to have the cookies ready that he didn't want to have to walk in and wait for them and be just sitting there standing there. And so they could have, they knew Dolph was going to show up. They could have had it prepared in advance. A lot of people knew that there was a lot of things going on where Dolph was about to do the turkey drive. He was about to do giveaways and all this stuff. And people are saying one of the locations where Dolph was about to do a giveaway was the cookie shop and that they should have already had his stuff ready and lined up ready. This is why they knew Dolph was going to come and visit their shop. They just didn't know what time and who, who he was going to bring. But they had, like, a lot of people were on standby. Once they knew Dolph was in town, this is why Dolph was getting followed by all these cars that led back to Moneybag Yo, led back to CMG, led back to the guys that hopped out of the two-door Benz and everything like that. That white Benz was basically... Like a lot of that, that was the same Benz that Black Yosa's girlfriend was driving. This is why every single person that has something to do with it is connected and is going to pretty much they all getting ratted on right now by straight dropping Cornelia Smith because they're mad they didn't get the $800. And so this is why everybody got to realize the facts of what's really going on and that this whole situation is a revolving door and that it's a lot of, that's a lot that's about to happen and it's a lot that's already happened and so uh, everybody's paying close attention because first of all they're getting the justice for Dolph a lot of people that's involved with this the information is coming out about how they weren't even at the places that they said they was and the fact that it's too many people closely related that hang out with each other that did this and did that, you find all these pictures of the same people all hanging out with each other. But then when it comes time to this, they ended up being on the other side of the beef. And so this is why Key Glock kept quiet for so many months. And in, in the last two years, he hasn't said nothing. It's because Key Glock knows that he was in the wrong for whatever like fallout that he had between him and straight drop key glock knows this this is why they put the money on key glock head because he told him that he was gonna kick a uh, straight drop out of pre and so th at the end of the day when yo Gotti and them found out that straight drop wasn't in good terms with them but he's been going everywhere they go he's been having access to all of the spots that they be at 
And so that's why they use straight drop and they enticed him with the money and all this saying that he was going to get a cut out of this and that they were supposed to get 40,000 and all this Grove Hero told it all. He, he, he told us he was the first to say about how Big Juke was the one who pretty much gave the money to Cornelius Smith and Straight Drop, the two suspects that was in court, basically, and the one that got life sentence. And so in order for them to be able to get the probation, parole, whatever, you know Cornelius Smith was the main informant in all of this, and Shondell Barnett, that's why Straight Drop got the life sentence, and Cornelius Smith didn't get that yet. He's still They're still getting info from him. And they're going to connect the dots. And basically, all of this is because of the karma that fell on Yo Gotti from him just being in the wrong for even trying to mess around with Dolph. So with all that, stay tuned for all the updates. Let me know if y'all support Young Dolph. If y'all Young Dolph fans out there, go ahead and like the video. Drop the Dolph emojis down there. I'm going to catch y'all later.